It's stupid illegal, yes. People be named James, but it'd just be one person. Generic control in the deck goes me back with some more odd ones out. Today we're doing Subway 3. Now, I have to do it over here because if I have it hovering on the video, it starts automatically playing because YouTube likes to add features that nobody likes but takes away features that we actually do enjoy. You want to check out my reaction to episode 2 of Subway? I'll leave it right up there. I'll also be linked down below in the description. Uh, but I'm starting my odd one out journey. I've, this is the third video I've ever seen by him. I've been reacting to Jade Animation and stuff like that as well as i'm doing two alpha videos a week i'm also trying to do 100 videos in the month of december so there's gonna be a lot of videos being uploaded uh, my tuesday is untouched because i uploaded four videos on tuesday absolutely insanity but i'm trying to upload 100 videos in the month of december i do all the recording all the editing all the thumbnails and i read every single comment as well so if you want to become a patron this month will be the best month for you to become a patron because literally for three dollars a month you would get 96 videos a day before they go public and supports the channel so much and allows you not have a paywall on the channel because some videos aren't monetized at all and i do not make a single penny from them even though i put hours and hours of work into each and every video but i also read every single comment and reply to a lot of them so you know i'm reading them so that's actual proof but Subway has been very enjoyable so far. Um, <laughs> uh, Alpha, I was actually talking about Subway in one of the videos I already recorded today. That video will be out Thursday. Patrons will get it Wednesday. But I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hopefully, I can make it a little better. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Um, and Subway has been interesting. Let me know uh, what I should watch after the Subway series because we have Subway 4. And then we're done with Subway, but there's so much odd ones out content to react to. So definitely be coming out in the future. So subscribe so you don't miss it. But let's go ahead and jump into Subway Part 3. You want to know right. something sad? I've earned more money from the two Subway videos really? I made about working at Subway than he made at than Subway. Did actually working at Subway for over a year. <laughs> so oh. here we go, Subway Part Three, baby. Uh, I still got more to say. I used to work there. In case you over didn't know a that. year, when I moved out and was, he was all doing my minimum own for college, wage. I was feeling a little lonely and homesick. So one like day I decided, eighteen grand, hey, I'm probably get maybe some at Subway most. for lunch. Food maybe that I used tips. to almost eat every day and got for free for over a year, I was going to got pay full price for. I just wanted a taste of home. I wasn't expecting to ever tell this story, I but it Jones, turns personally. out the employee making my sandwich was a him. huge idiot. As Wait, I was what? waiting in line, oh. I noticed my favorite sandwich, the turkey italiano, wasn't on the menu. Oh. The turkey italiano, by the way, is the same as the Italian BMT, but, but instead of ham, you put on turkey. Very simple change. Both bottom tiers meet. Do you guys have personally. the turkey italiano? And he said, no. So then I asked, can I get a BMT, but instead of ham, I have turkey? No. You know what he said to me? He said, no. no. I Why don't not? think I'm asking for too much. At my school, like, like, the BMT I used to work and the turkey there. italiano were the same price, okay? And what do you mean, no, you can't put on turkey? Customer's Who, always right. Who's stopping you? I know for a fact that you don't count the slices of turkey at nope. the end of the night. Just hook me up, please. I'm feeling sad. <laughs> so feeling I just got sad. the BMT with all the vegetables because it's more food for the same amount of money, and I was a poor college student. That and makes sense. I almost got for five days at school and left getting money back. To close that sandwich, but then when he was all done, he put my sandwich by the cash register, and then he just started helping the next customer. He didn't and check they hadn't out. even started making their sandwich, just ring me up so Dude I can is leave, high. and Dude then is help high. the next person. But no, for a I had to wait for him to finish this person's sandwich. If I wasn't so nice, I would have just took they, the sandwich. Yeah, he and wouldn't care. Off, but I what are they gonna do? Because I'm so nice. What are they gonna do? Call the cops? You that trespass story. you? It sounds okay, like can't I'm go one back of those that customers subway. who complain about everything and say, "Let me talk to your manager." But really, the whole time I just stood there awkwardly. I'm not condoning stealing. I think I can complain a little bit. I used to work at a subway. I know how things are supposed to work. Subway, if you're somehow watching this, you need to hire more people. Like me. I'm sure Speaking they have. Speaking of me, when I was working at Subway, I never liked wearing my name tag because when I was making people sandwiches, I hated it when complete strangers would Wait. say, Thanks, James. James. How did called... you know? Oh, right, the uh, name tag. Uh, yeah. So I never wore my name tag. That makes I just sense, work yeah. at Subway, okay? We don't need to know each other on a first name basis. True. Just take your food. For People some be named reason, James, like but it's just strangers one person. My name. But now that's that's all thrown out the window. This yeah. one time a customer came in, and for some reason, I couldn't help but feel like I'd seen her somewhere before. Her face was so familiar, but I couldn't put my finger on it. So uh, I made her sandwich, I rang her up, she paid for it, and as she grabbed her stuff, she said, Yeah, I'm going up to my father's funeral this weekend. After my mother died, he couldn't last that long. What? Oh, that's why I remember her. Why you... She came in last week telling me the same story. What? What 
are you supposed to say to that? Yeah, that really sucks. I'm just some underpaid sandwich artist with really the bad people part. skills. Did she really yeah. not have anyone else to talk to? That just makes it extra sad. I ended up giving her a free cookie. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't. Luckily, no, didn't. my coworker Corey heard this and he talked to her and he was very nice. Oh, Corey's a lot good. better at being nice to people. One time I was Apparently. closing the store, I turned Social off the skills. open sign and I was opening the front door to bring in the table and chair from outside. It's just a While single table and two table, chairs. These two old guys got out of their car and asked, Are, Are you guys open? closed? Yes. Yep. Is what I would have said if I wasn't so nice. Yeah. Instead, I said, Ugh. Come on Fine. in. Even though it was past 10, Even though I already put all the sandwiches. food away. When they came in, the 16 year old girl I was working with was not happy. No. They started apologizing for coming in so late. Really? Oh, I didn't realize places in Arizona close so early. Blah, blah, blah. We're vampires. And I <sighs> said, Ugh. It's whatever. Just order your sandwiches. Yeah. And then he just, said, "Just be done with it." Can I have three salads? And I actually laughed. <laughs> he wants well, salad. Laugh. Why didn't oh, he you're laugh? Being serious. What? I let you in past closing, For and you salads. want three salads? But Do you know how many people? dirty dishes that'll make? As I was three making dirty this guy's balls, three salads, it. and sixteen-year-old girl was making the other guy's two oh, foot-long sandwiches. So mad. A third guy, not associated no. with these two, came in. Guess he didn't see the open sign not illuminated. But he saw people I in there. I finished helping the two old guys, and then I started helping the third guy, and he asked. What time do you guys close? About 10 minutes ago. minutes ago. But after everything was said and done, the two old guys tipped us $5, okay. and the third guy tipped us $1. Wow. So I mean, between me and the 16-year-old girl, a $3 tip ain't so bad. I actually heard from one of my old co-workers that the That's husband and wife owners of my old Suabway watched my two other Suabway videos. Oh. So they might be watching this one. Hi. And I just wanted to say that by letting those three guys in, I showed initiative and was looking out for customer satisfaction. Why did he lose that job? Yeah. One time I brought a laser pointer into work because I knew I'd be bored and yeah, I fair. was. Except yeah. the boy I was working with was shining it outside at the cars <laughs> driving by and I told him not <laughs> to do that because it's probably stupid illegal it's and really stupid dangerous. Stupid illegal, Later, yes. I was going to go clean the bathrooms. I saw the laser pointer on the counter and I said, Hey Are dude, you doing nothing while again? I'm cleaning the bathrooms, don't shine the laser pointer at the car. And he's going to do it I anyway. I told him that. When I was all finished cleaning, though, laser I saw pointer. him sitting by the Bro. window just shining the laser at the cars. At first, I wanted to go up to him and say, dude, stop. But then spraying. the other part of me thought, I'm not this kid's dad. No. I told him to stop twice, and he didn't listen. <laughs> Whatever happens is his problem. The more you F around. He ended up getting fired. Imagine yeah, a lady that. came not in and said, let me talk to your manager. And I said, uh, I can give you her phone number. Yeah. And boom, he, he got fired. Why? I know I'm the one who brought in the laser pointer, but I don't really blame myself well, for him. a laser pointer for an that enjoyment. That was a stupid what thing cats? for you to do, kid. Once again, I was the good employee. I mean, I didn't show that much initiative that time, though. No, so no, before no, I worked not at Subway, I like to go to this taco place and get the same thing every time. The carne asada what? fries. What? Is that an actual picture of them? The carne asada fries are 2,000 calories. That was the oh, only okay, thing Jesus. I ever got at this taco place. That's and a daily intake of calories. just thinking, Man, these employees must think I'm so weird coming in getting the same thing over and no, over. No, I get the same but thing. But then when I worked at Sewell Boy, Everybody I just learned, got the same thing. Nope. Fast Everyone food gets employees the same don't thing. care about you or your order. No. Unless you're mean to them or tell them that you're going to your dad's funeral, fast food employees will not remember you. No. One time someone eh. came in and told me, Do you I'll remember me? usual. And I said, I've literally never seen you before in my entire life. I didn't really say that. If any of you are working at a really slow Subway, here's uh, some fun games Me and my dad just go to Moe's every single Cut Monday. Cut a loaf of bread Moe's into small pieces girl. and make a mini sandwich with they would one just meat know and order. three different vegetables. Give it to your coworker and have them eat it without looking. Then they have to guess what's on the sandwich. And that's it. You can set up a point system like they get one point for every ingredient they get right. Also, oh, you can do okay. the same game by mixing up two sodas and have them guess. Guess you what the two the sodas are. You can and see how long you can last. My or record's an cry. hour. You can an bring hour in some in the vanilla freezer? ice cream Dude, pneumonia. You can make all sorts of Cold. stuff with that. So many things. You can things. make root beer floats. You can take two cookies and put ice cream between them make and make a cookie ice cream sandwich. 16-year-old girl made this thing. I think it was called the kazuki. You put cookie <laughs> dough in a bowl and then you cooked it, but not all the way. And then you put ice cream on top of it and it was super good. You can make nachos and nachos. Bowls and we wasted a lot of food. Yeah. I still don't I mean, know why that guy anyway. didn't give me a turkey Italiano. I mean, at my Subway, we made bread bowls and nachos. Okay, all oh, yeah. right, here's my oh, yeah. favorite Subway. I, I was talking about this pastrami. last time about the whole ceiling good, drink thing. Expensive. So the next best thing, aka uh, what I usually get, is the turkey Italiano. I'll, I'll explain it after he's done. Cheese. If you want to stick around and for that, no, I'll explain you why the getting meat and extra cheese. So I guess if you want to recreate my sandwich, you have to get double meat and double cheese. Which, if you ask me, is the standard amount of cheese and meat you should put on the sub. Toast it, obviously. But then you put all the vegetables on it besides banana peppers and jalapenos and only a little bit animation. of pickles. So actually, little I did bit ask pickles. the pickles first guy to put on all the vegetables, not out of revenge, but because I actually like all the vegetables on my sub. Then a little bit of mayo, 
They normally put on so much oh, mayo so just much. ask for one stripe because it's and then the like, same amount of I mustard. They're like, oh, it's and then good. Some oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper, and then wrap Sorry, that that puppy up. And it was going to insult a sandwich that Suaboy sure. has. But if Suaboy is ever going to hire me as their new spokesperson because they need one, I can't be insulting one of their <laughs> sandwiches scared. in a video. True. It was the meatball. The meatball's a horrible sandwich. Okay, there are good it meatball marinara sandwiches sandwich. out there. It's just the ones at Suaboy are. Dumb. I do want to say something about the a lot of I know I said in the last video that they're going to be out by Christmas, but that didn't happen. They were shipped out ago. late. Wow. But as of right now, they have shipped already, and you should have gotten a confirmation email. So if you haven't gotten yours, then they should be arriving very, very soon, is what I'm saying. Thanks for okay, watching. fair enough. Happy, good way to start out Five the years year. ago. And wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt? Maybe. Don't tell me what to do. So, um... In the last time, he talked about annoying customers, how people would, like, get a water, or one kid would, like, get a water, a teenager, got a water cup, and then just, like, filled it up with soda. So, in the food industry, or at least here in America, most of the margin that they make is based, is, comes from drinks. Like, most of their margin comes from drink. Like, if you go to a place and get a burger, all the stuff that comes with the burger, the sides and all that, they're not making a ton of money off that. But what they do make money on is that $3 soda that you get free refills on. So whether it's a Subway or wherever, that soda you get from Subway for, or Subway for like $2, two or $3 or $1.50 or whatever, uh, you would have to get so many refills. I'm not sure what the actual math is before it actually, like, they're losing money on you. Um, and for some reason, when I was in Merit Badge College with the Boy Scouts probably 13 years ago, uh, there was a dude that was talking about business stuff and said that he like owned a franchise uh, location for Subway. He said on every single sandwich they made 48 cents um, in profit. So their margin was 48 cents on a $5 foot long, which that's eh, not great returns, but that's just on the sub. It's just on the sub. You go to the drink, that's where the money comes from. So I'm not sure why I remember the fact that he got 40, 48 cents from that. I thought it was like the coolest thing ever that I met somebody that owned a Subway because I didn't understand. I was a kid. I was a kid, okay? I didn't understand how franchise stuff works. But Subway is actually the most franchise uh, fast food location in all of America. So Or USA. You shouldn't say America because America is a continent. I don't know. It's... 11 o'clock at night. This is the seventh video I've recorded. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm trying to upload 100 videos this month. So if you could subscribe, watch some of my videos, I would greatly appreciate that as well. Or leave some comments down below because I love reading your comments. And I hope I'll be wonderful for us today. Hopefully I was able to make it a little better. If you could tell me that, I would really appreciate that. But you can come on Patreon and get my videos there early. I'll be back next week with Subway 4. But until then, take care. I love you and keep the music.